Well, hello. Oh, we got you just in time for a thunderstorm. You guys, we are in Sumter, Oregon, which is in the Sumter Valley, which is old gold country. This is where gold was found. This is what made Baker City wealthy. Uh, well, some of the people in Baker City wealthy. And every Memorial Day, Labor Day, or 4th of July, they have an annual flea market. Now, this is a smaller of the flea markets, and this one's a little smaller than usual. And uh, But this is a super cool little town. We are standing underneath a roof of, this is, is this the local bar where everybody hangs out? We found a guy, we found a guy. This is one of the two local bars, yeah. This is the Elkhorn, and, and Carol's Mad Dog is across the street. So, you guys, real fast, we want to let you know, Kathy's here with me. So, we're just kind of hanging out in town and trying to stay dry. And, uh, but we want to thank our sponsors, Toyota and your Northwest Toyota dealers, and Travel Baker County. Uh, we wouldn't be here without them. So, who are you, my friend? My name is Richard. I own the Elkhorn Saloon here in Sumter. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Is this yours? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Oh, well, we didn't even know we were talking to the owner. So, I was a good so, <laughs> oh, you're the owner of the bar? Yeah. Wow. I am. Uh, so, so, this is, th these flea markets, the annual flea markets are pretty important for your guys, the local economy. For all the merchants in town, this is what helps us get through the winter when things slow down. Yeah. So you guys, we are giving someone out there, uh, we have an adventure package and two of them. One of them is going to bring you to the Elkhorns and you're actually going to spend the night right across the street in a hotel. They've given a room and you're going to get a ride on the railroad. So we saw the dredge. Mm -hmm. um, so, so what are the big draws here for people? Uh, I would say the, the Sumter Valley Railroad, the, the museum that's over here across the road. Uh, in the wintertime, of course, it's snowmobiling, and in the summer, it's a lot of ATV riding. So, as the owner of the local uh, watering hole, uh, you kind of know all the stuff that's going on, don't you? Oh, we try to know, yeah. <laughs> you have to know the dirt and the non-dirt. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, what, what do people call, I mean, is this, in a small town like this, you're kind of the place where the center of activity happens. Yeah, if people want to know anything, they always go to a bar. They want to find out what's going on. Yeah, they, we they, always, they always go to the bar to find out. We were even told that we needed to stop in here. Oh, really? Yeah, when we were saying we were coming. So we're like, so see, you're, you're known. So we were up at um, where were Anthony Lakes, yeah. and the young man working with us up there, yeah. Trice, he said, yeah. well, if you right, when you guys head down there, he yeah, said, okay. um, you got to go by the bar, the Elkhorn, and he said, yeah, it's kind of just a regular old bar. We should go inside. Would your customers hate us if we did? So, yeah, I don't know, they might not want to be showing on camera. <laughs> you know, what is, but I, we always show ourselves drinking beer on there. So, how, how long have you owned this? 14 years. And why? You live in Granite, right? Yeah. We just stopped in Granite, you guys. It's a little ghost town, but this is one of the ghosts that lives there. <laughs> I don't actually live right in town. I live out of town, so it's all right. So, why did, where did you come from and buy this place? Estacada. Wife and I both uh, grad, or, uh, got graduated, but retired out of Fred Meyer and my, and Clackamas, so my sister and her husband live in Estacada. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We both retired from Fred Meyer, then we came up here, and I hunted up here ever since '74. So this, yeah. this is something we like. Oh. So here we come. So don't take this the wrong way. I'm going to ask you a question because I have not been inside. But is this a dive bar? No. What's a dive? Because I think dive bars are super cool. So it's not a dive bar. It depends what your classification is of a dive bar. Okay. Well, what would you say is a? I don't, and I don't mean that as an insult. I think there's a whole bunch of people that like going into what they consider to be dive bars. Dive bar to me is if you got a bunch of girls in there dancing or something. That'd be a dive oh, bar. that's not a dive bar. That'd be a dive bar to me. Well, show me inside. Let's go see. Okay. All right, let's go. Come here. We'll go. Come on, Kath. You guys, it is pouring out here. We're in Sumter, Oregon, and uh, we didn't even know you. Were, you know what I really wanted to do? Your, I wanted to come into your bar because everybody told us you got to come here and see it. So um, here we go. We're gonna go. We'll make sure. People, oh wait, I got it. I had it. I got it. You guys are stars now. Look at this. See, they don't seem to mind. Is anybody in the witness protection program? You are. Okay. You know, I promise not to out you. Oh my God, it's him. So that's perfect. That's a pretty radical shirt you got on there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So, pool table. That's good. Okay, this one will be a little more careful. You want to ask your. Are they okay with me turning this on them? There's seating on the other side. Oh, yeah. These are your locals. Yeah. Okay. We got in, you guys. So, how you doing? Bob, you better turn around. You don't want to be seen. Are you? What you got? Well, I'll show you. 
That's well. Come in here, cause you're you're so damn handsome. Come over here. He's real hard. Get you're real hard of hearing. So Are you hard of hearing? Let me. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. getting there too. Don't worry about Man, it. And you don't know how bad. <laughs> well, here. So there you go. See, that's you. Yeah. That's and right me. now you're live, like anybody in the world that's on here could see you. So what's your name? Tom. So where are you from, Tom? Band. Band. What you doing here? Uh, visiting, hanging out at the flea market. So, um, what's this bar all about? I'm sorry? What's this bar all about? This bar? Yeah. Oh, it's it's a water and hole. <laughs> Is this where you find out what's going on in town? Yeah. And, and what did you find out? What do I find what'd out? What did you find out's going on in town? Well, the flea market said there were a lot of people, and I enjoy walking around and watching and seeing what's going on. And I bought some things up at the fairgrounds. So how old are you? Oh man, you wouldn't. Uh, you yeah, do I? Those questions, do I, I have to tell him? Yeah, you no. do. You do. Well, I I will anyway. I'm 83. Good night. That's awesome. <laughs> 83 years old. Well, thanks. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say I was getting the backstory on you. Um, I understand that you were a big time contractor in Bend for. Used to be at one time, yeah. but I'm all retired out. Yeah. So yeah. now you just hang out here. Well, I've been retired for 16 years. You guys were in the Elkhorn, is it Saloon? Elkhorn Saloon in downtown Sumter, Oregon. Um, it's raining outside, and so we decided to, uh, there's a big flea market, happens three times a year. This one's a little smaller than years past, so we had to find a story, and Kathy and I said, let's go into the, you know who I really want to talk to? Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. So, you guys, this guy will look familiar to you after tomorrow. Hi. <laughs> so, this is Barley Brown's Brewer. Yeah, yeah. So, what are you drinking? Well, uh, some, uh, some not Barley Brown's beer. There's a, there's a small draft selection up here, so got some uh, some Coors. So, <laughs> but you ha that's good. You're, you're finding out what the competition does. Yeah. You know, they make great beer, too. Well, just, on a just, hot day, a Coors is good. Exactly. On a hot day, a Barley Brown's is better. <laughs> well, unfortunately, today is just a rainy day. I know. That's why we came inside, because you guys, yeah. I'll show you outside. It is. There is this flea market going on. But see out there? And it's a little smaller than normal years, so we just kind of made a new story. Oh, yeah, she's going to hide the bar. <laughs> okay. Hey, man. So, uh, why should people come visit Sumter, Oregon? Why should they? Yeah. It's a very friendly town. You got so much very history, friendly. too. It's a cool little place. Looks oh, cool. It is. There's a lot of history here. Good and if water. You, Good water, you got that right. Good water. Good oh, yes, yeah. she's also in the witness protection program. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. not. You're not. <laughs> but you've been coming here. Okay, so I'll just do this. She doesn't want to be on camera, but tell how long you've been coming here. Uh, 46 years. She's been coming here for 40. So you were a little girl, and you used to come with your grandma. Yep. And why? what do you love about Sumter? Friendly people, fun, get away from the city, and... There's always good stuff to drink and eat. But so, you're not just coming here. You actually live here now, right? I live here. I've lived in the town of Sumter for 15 years. I lived on the outskirts of Sumter for over 20. Okay. So can I ask you a question? Uh-huh. I'm going to sit at the bar. Oh. Don't drink my beer. Uh, <laughs> don't worry. I can't because that guy over there, he, he brews the beer that I brag about, so I can't really drink the beer. Oh. I'm in trouble. I'll be in trouble. So can I put you on camera just a little bit? Uh, okay, thank you. I knew I could talk you into it. So what is it about small towns like this that draws people, Oregonians, to... Uh, we're all trying to get away from the city. The city. In one word. the Well, two. The city. The land of concrete. Small towns. What, what do you get out here? You know what I think? Sometimes people measure their paycheck based on dollar figures, and you guys measure your paycheck based on what? how we can plant our vegetables, eat stable, see real wild life that's not in a meat locker, no mold on our vegetables in the grocery store, and not paying twice, triple times the price. Are you a rugged individualist? Yeah. Are you one of those people who um, leave me alone? I want my, I, this is my land, this is where I live. 
Well, yeah, if you're going to steal my veggies, I'm going <laughs> to. I don't think any of my viewers are going to steal your vegetables now. <laughs> What's your name? Jamie. It's nice to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. She swore she wasn't going to talk to me, but I knew we'd get her to. Thank you. Because I want people to understand Sumter and what you guys are all about here. Small town. Sustainable. I can go out in my yard and pick a green onion and eat it. I can go to Safeways, buy a bunch of green onions, and drive from Baker to home, take the rubber bands off, and have to peel away the mold. Right. I'm not dealing with it. I don't want that mold brought in my house. Tell them about the nice thing in Sumter. We, we don't have paved roads. Uh, no paved roads, paved no road sidewalks. Have, yeah. And you no like stoplights. Yeah, not a single stoplight. And when you hear a siren, one of your friends is in trouble. So you also are people who, t I bet you take care of each other, don't you? You got that right. So if something happened when you, you're, can I talk about your surviving? Because I'm a survivor too. Right. So Go you're ahead. a cancer survivor. So yes, I am. I bet people, you knew who to count on. Yes, I did. You knew who your friends were. Yes, I did. And they lived just down the road from you. Next door even. Yeah. Pretty much, is she gonna make it in? Is she gonna make it out? And people took you and helped you. Yes, they did. And they don't do that in the city. They want to stuff you in an elevator, put you in a room, and walk away. Got to go for that God Almighty dollar. Well, the dollar don't buy happiness. I like you. Amen to that. The, happy, <laughs> the happiness comes from what's in your heart and what you see. What do you mean, what you see? If you see something that makes you happy, okay. that makes your heart happy. Like the first time I found a four-leaf clover, I was so happy. Well, the first time you saw me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amen, I say to you. <laughs> Boy, he's, he's not full of himself at all, is he? No, I'll hide now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. But yeah, seriously, I mean, there's the difference, you yeah, know? Yeah. You can't go in any city and find a four-leaf clover. You can walk out your back door here and walk, hike up a hill, find a clover patch, and spend the day having fried chicken, potato what? salad, and find a okay. four-leaf clover. I'll give you a great example. So we went up mountain biking today at Anthony Lakes. On the way up, we saw a bear. Cool. Right in the road. Yeah. And a big old huge what bear. Color? Black. And he was bigger like than a Newfoundland, so it was a pretty good sized bear, you know? Uh -huh. And then we rode down the hill and stuff, and then we went up to the, the we went to Granite. We stopped in at Granite, which you guys, for those of you who don't know, it's a little ghost town. Yes, and, it is. Um, and there's a the little schoolhouse there, and it yes. has a bell, and we both looked at it, and, I, and Kathy looks at me and she goes, Do you think we could ring it? And I'm going, I felt totally comfortable ringing the bell where if I was in the valley, I'd feel like there's probably a sign that says, please don't touch the bell, don't ring it. And we rang the bell. Let cool. me tell you a story about that bell. <clears throat> we know a gal you used to go to school last, with. last year, my Aunt Linda, who lives in Cascade Locks, brought two of her friends, Joan and, what's her name? Doris. Now, Doris is in assisted living in outside of Gresham. They come up, we set them up to spend the night in camp. And she said, I went to school in Granite. Wow. And we went up there, and that's where she had went to school, and she got to walk up and ring that bell that she did all those years ago. And that is heart healthy. Yeah. That's priceless, man. You guys, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys, yeah. Thanks for letting us bother you guys. Yeah. Their first bike. Oh, wait. No, you're fine. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. First bike. Um, they, they ride the lift up, and they can ride all their, all their trail bikes down. Uh, uh, the mountain. Yeah, and, and we were up there today just kind of, we went up and did are it Are you going ourselves. tomorrow? We, no, because we have to, we're going to Halfway. We go back to Baker tonight, and then we go to Halfway and Cornucopia. Okay. So, okay. thank you. So, we Pers have a uh, bed and breakfast in Baker. Do you? Out yeah. Of out we should have stayed out of, there. Out, just outside of Baker. Yep. Where is it? Uh, Elkhorn Mountains Bed and Breakfast. It's off of uh, Pine Creek on Spring Creek Loop. 
right below the uh, the Pine Creek Reservoir. So there's a hike well, that well, you can. Well, we're doing. I'll tell you. I'll put you on the spot here. We're doing this. No, 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 no. So we're doing this little adventure package where they're giving away. A, a night. The guys or grand gave us a night, and all these people are giving us a night. You're more than happy to do that for we'll us. We'll give you a night. You'll give us a night. Yeah, we'll give you a night. Okay, so, hey, honey. Okay. Let, let us. We don't. Well, we rode the side by side over, so I okay, don't have Okay, so business cards. so you will give us a night for our adventure package. Yes. And what's it called again? Elkhorn Mountains Bed and Breakfast. In and it's Baker out of Baker City. City. And so, the hikers love to hike. Um, okay, so you guys, they just, these, these folks just gave us another night, yeah. um, so we're going to add that to one of the packages. And <laughs> yeah, thank you, no, yeah, thank you wonderful. so well, because what we do is we have a show called Exploring in the Backstory, sponsored by Toyota and your local oh. North Shore Toyota dealers. Cool. Toyota dealers, I haven't drank yet. Yeah. And also the uh, Travel Baker County. Yeah. And so okay. they put together a package for us, and then but then like we were at the Geyser Grand, and she says, "I'll give you a night." So mm-hmm. I, as long as you're doing it, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but right. so we'll yeah. we'll we'll find a winner, and then we'll notify them and you, right. and we'll put that all together right. with and you. And we have a website, so you can we have a log home. We're on the creek; it's beautiful. So um, when you when you do do that. Uh, Please, please get those pictures. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay so I'm going to have Kathy get the information from you. Can you want to grab, can you put something down or do you have a business card? So you guys, um, anyway, <laughs> so there, you go into the bar. So where's our man? And um, I'm going to take you out really quickly. See if our our guy's here still. No, he took off. So you guys, we're at the Elkhorn Saloon. Uh, we uh, the flea market, uh, kind of low turnout this year, and uh, and so we just won it and found another story. And so we uh, found the owner outside, and he said, "You can sure come on in, talk to some of the locals." And we just got another room. Uh, to add to our adventure package and uh, so Kathy, I'm going to run this direction just walk down the street and show people the rest of Sumter and I'll be back okay. I'm sorry no I think I'm going to be okay I'm an Oregonian so I'll be fine alright come here you guys so if you didn't see the town this is what it looks like you guys is that Leona Oh my God, I went to the baker, I went to the Haynes breakfast, and I saw the Fishers, I saw our family. So you guys, this is Sumter, Oregon, and uh, they have this flea market, and this year it's a little quieter than normal, uh, because 4th of July fell in the middle of the week, Um, but we managed to save the story by going into the Elkhorn Saloon and talking to some locals just to find out what is going on in this community. So um, we just avoided. Yeah, <laughs> you're, he's, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, man. So while we were in the uh, Elkhorn, a woman who has a really nice bed and breakfast in Baker City offered to give us another room for our adventure package. <laughs> you guys, I'll tell you what. Small town Oregon is the best. It just doesn't get any better than this. So... Um, Again, we are live in Sumter Valley, in Sumter the town, and we are here because of Travel, Baker County, and Toyota, and your local Toyota dealers. Uh, You can look for, we just toured the Dredge, we had that story on there, we're going to be showing you tomorrow, we're heading to Halfway, where we won't get a signal, but we'll be editing these things and getting them on as we can. We'll also be going horseback riding into a ghost town called Cornucopia, so we'll take you there. And then we're also going to go on Hell's Canyon, and we're going to go on an all-day uh, adventure on a jet boat up Hell's Canyon. So those stories will all be coming later. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I love this place. Um, and one of you also, as part of our gift, is going to be staying right there at the Depot Inn. Uh, you're going to get a night there and then some time up on the mountain at Anthony Lakes. So Grandpa worked for the Forest Service and was stationed in Sumter. Leona, it's been so much fun, and I saw all of our family names. I think we're even more related than we thought we were um, from looking in Hainsey uh, at what we were doing. So Kathy's inside getting all the information for our newest package uh, for the adventure, and uh, we're going to call her done for the day. 
and uh, go into town into Barley Browns and uh, have some dinner. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Share these on your page, please. Let people know and uh, and participate in the contest. You need to tag the person uh, you want to take with you. And then you need to like our Exploring in the Backstories page. And if you're on Instagram, you can do the same over there. All right, we'll talk to you guys later live from Sumter, Oregon at the Elkhorn Saloon. I'm Rick Dancer with Kathy Dancer, and we'll talk to you later. <laughs>